So here is a question that you might find in our home learning packs for year three. And you can see what it is looking at is not only division, but it's also going to be looking at units of measurement. And what this means is that we're not just going to be looking at numbers, we're going to be looking at the measurement of something. Here we've got kilometres, which is a measurement of length. And here we've got kilograms, which is a measurement of weight. OK, and what it's asking us to do is divide this unit of measurement, this amount, by 10. And what could the answer be? Now, in order to get the answer, there are two ways that we can do this and two pieces of knowledge that are really important. The first piece of knowledge is conversion. It's really important to know that if you're dividing units of measurement, that you know all of the units of measurement. You know the larger values and you know the smaller values. It's also important that if your answer is looking for the same unit of measurement, as you can see here, it's important that we understand our place value, as this is really going to come in handy. Let's start with conversion. So completely ignore this and let's have a look at the question. Seven kilometres divided by ten. Now, if you have a look here, I've put some conversion rates to help you and I want us to have a look at a pattern that we spot. Here, we've got the length, kilometres, and we can see that one kilometre is exactly the same as a thousand metres. OK, both are units of length. Here, we've got one kilogram weight and one kilogram is exactly the same as a thousand grams, also weight. Can you spot a pattern here between these two units of measurement? Yeah, we can see that one kilometre and one kilogram both equal the same as 1,000 metres and 1,000 grams. There's a similarity between the numbers here. It's also interesting because you might think that because this number is larger, 1,000, that means that this is the bigger one, but that's completely incorrect. Because this equals sign lets us know that both sides of the equation are the same. So what that tells us that even though this is a larger number, it's important when we're looking at units of measurement to also look at the unit so that we can see what the value of that number truly is. One is not smaller than a thousand. They are the same. With that knowledge in mind, we've got to think, how can we take seven kilometres and divide it by 10, okay? Well, seven kilometers, what's that going to look like here? Let's write it. So I'm going to start off with seven kilometers. What did I do to the one to turn it into the seven? I multiplied by seven, so I'm going to do the same on the other side. 1,000 multiplied by seven, I'm going to get the answer 7,000 metres. So that's really important before we get started that we know this for the first question. OK, then it's asking us to divide by 10. So 7 divided by 10 can be quite difficult at first. So let's start with the 7,000. Now, we're really confident in year three with something called placeholders. And I'm going to demonstrate that on this place value chart here. OK. We're going to start by taking our number 7,000 and placing it correctly in our place value chart. OK, so I'm going to put my digit 7 in the thousands and I'm going to put my three placeholders in the hundreds, in the tens and in the ones. Now, ignore these boxes for now. We don't need them. This is the number 7,000. When we divide something by 10, a lot of times we say that we just have to cross off the zero, but that's not the case because if I did that here, my numbers are still placed in the thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. So it's important that we don't take this thought when we are dividing by 10, okay? What you rather want to think about is moving those digits into the correct place. So when we divide by 10, all of these digits are going to move down one jump. So my seven is going to move into the hundreds. My zero 
move into the tens. This zero is going to move into the ones. And then that leaves us with this zero. Now, we're not going to go past that decimal point. We don't need to write anything here yet. So what we can see that 7,000 metres divided by 10 is going to be 700 metres. So initially, your answer to this question could be 7 kilometres divided by 10 equals 700 metres. OK, but the question here is asking for it in kilometres, which makes things a little bit more complicated. OK, so we're going to clear this up. And now I'm going to introduce decimals. Decimals are these points here, OK? Now here, it's not asking for 7,000 metres, it's asking for it in kilometres. So we've got the number 7, which I'm going to place in the 1s because we've got one digit, OK? Now when we divide it by 10, that same rule applies that we used before and that we have always used in the classroom when we divide by 10. We're going to take that digit and we're going to move it across one jump. OK, now this might look unusual at first because we've got seven kilometres and now it's moved here into what we call the tenths. OK, as soon as it moves into the tenths, we have to place something here. We have to put a placeholder. Now, because there is no value here, we're going to put a zero as our placeholder and this is our final answer. OK, so seven kilometres divided by 10 is going to be 0 0.7 kilometres. That is the same as 700 metres that we worked out before. It's just written differently like this. Can you use this method to now work out five kilograms divided by 10 and see what answer you get? I really recommend that you use this knowledge of conversion and I recommend that you use this decimals and place value chart to help you with your understanding.